What is good, y'all? This is, I'm not gonna lie to y'all, this feels so weird because I just have not done this in such a while. Actually, I just lied. I immediately just lied to you to start the video. I lied. I did this just the other day when I was recording a, a more personal video as to why I haven't been on YouTube in a while. So if you want to watch that, go ahead, jump over there. I will not waste people's time because I know there are some niggas that might be clicking on this video and saying, shut the fuck up, get to the 2K news. You're not why I'm here. All right. So let's just look at what we found out today. There are people that are still that still look forward to this day, whereas like it's been so many years at this point that I don't really give that much of a fuck no more. I just, if anything, just let the game drop, then I'll care. But today all the My Team news dropped. The My Team blog dropped and they teased new things, which in my head going into this, I was like, what more could they add now to even make the game more appealing? What new can you do to make me want to play My Team now? Because at this point, we are 10 years in. Can y'all imagine that? My Team 2K13, right? And now it's 2K23. That's 10 years anniversary of my team. And this is what they're coming with. All right. So I have already watched the trailer. I'm just going to rewatch it again and pause at certain moments that are important. And then at the end, look at some of the details from the blog itself. Let's run it. This is Josh Giddy introducing you to NBA 2K23's My Team Mode. This year, take more control than ever before on your journey to assembling your very own dream team of the greatest NBA superstars. Let's take a look at what's coming to my team this year. Pause. So, this screen I think is really important because I'm pretty sure on this screen they probably put a lot of things that like they think we would just look over and probably not. Because it when you put some shit as a marketing perspective, right? When you just put some shit on the screen for half a second when it comes to like gaming and shit like that. There's probably small things on here that you didn't show throughout the rest of the trailer that's like, who cares enough to pause and look? So, take over reward players, which is, there's something about that in the blog. Eras in my team, which is just like the seasons, and that's related to domination too. Play 10 games for an amethyst, but I'm guaranteeing that nigga's gonna be ass! Clutch time single player, that's cool. Just for those who don't, who don't know, I didn't play clutch time at all uh, this last year of my team. I stopped playing my team in January. And that's around the time that it came out, so. Seasonal triple threat. Cool. Lineup helper. I don't need your fucking help, bro. Don't tell me what to do with my lineup because it's probably ass. I can imagine whatever players they're going to be telling you to use is probably like the most recommended, like the most used player shit that they used to have. That's gonna be a lie. Everybody's gonna be using niggas like Taco Fall, the tallest player you can imagine. We know how it goes, right? So your lineup helper, I, I guarantee, put money on it. You're not gonna do nothing for me. Prestige in Unlimited? Cool. I mean, I imagine that being the people that pay to get shit done, that they're gonna pay for whatever card comes with Prestige. I see that already. Send cards on exhibitions is one thing that I'm, primary thing that I'm con concerned about coming out to the trailer, because what, I mean, for all we know, we could send cards out on exhibition, can't use them for like five games, and then you get like an injury recovery card. <laughs> like, they would do some shit like that, you know? Uh, five tiers of domination, which they barely talk about. That's why I'm going to uh, check out the blog because they didn't talk about domination at all in the video. Uh, earn a logo in Unlimited? What the fuck? Who cares, bro? Draft lineup customization. Oh, no, that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Because I didn't play draft that much last year, but that, that's clutch because now you can, you're not stuck with some random trash boys that you might not want to use. Complete the trophy case, which I know what they're doing with that. They're trying to turn it into a, a card collecting, which is, you know, relevant. But, like, earn new cards from collecting a trophy case of cards like the Panini shit. I see what they're doing. I, I respect it. New triple threat courts, thank God, because some of them would give me a seizure. Face MJ's greatest teams. Uh, we've done that. Grade your reward cards. I hope there's, like, more worth in doing that now because before there wasn't. Uh, unlimited leaderboards, which would likely be populated and dominated by the bots, you know, people that are just boosting for W's. I'm sure I see that happening. New domination win condition, we'll get to that. Uh, new graded card look, I don't give a fuck. Break open prize balls. I want to see what we get from these balls. Uh, pause. No pause. Fuck it. Player lot gameplay. Now, people probably have... Uh, 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 a jaded opinion on this but when I saw this I thought this was so cool because I imagined it as now just being able to play my career in my team right like what if you wanted to just be Hakeem Olajuwon right you just wanted to play my career with Hakeem Olajuwon which at that point bro just go make your you're the demigod you're gonna make in my career at 90 something 90 it might be I mean unless you know when it's you know 
All right, cool, 99 Kareem, it's a different story, but you know what I'm going for, all right? If you wanted to just play my career in my team, that's kind of cool, right? That That's a, another perspective of playing the mode, so I respect that. That's something unique, and whoever came up with that idea, I, I fuck with it, bro. That's, that's, that's something different. It might not be for everybody, but it's different. I respect different and new. Uh, get all, I don't give a fuck about uh, limited. Play co-op with friends in triple threat, huge. Let's continue. Seasons are returning in my team with more ways to progress and earn incredible rewards in every game mode on your way to level 40 and beyond. And with new seasons every six weeks, my team is always staying fresh. With more ways for you to play and take control of your journey, let's hit the triple threat courts to see what's new. For the first time in my team, team up with your friends and your favorite cards in the brand new triple threat online, Co-op. Squad up with your friends to take on AI opponents to rise up your individual reward ladders or compete online to get great rewards as a team. You can even match up three on three in a party game for bragging rights. Pause. So this triple threat online concept, I like it because it's very reminiscent, long overdue by the way, to what Mutt Squads is. And if you can give us really good rewards for this concept of playing triple threat online together, this could be something that's like an unsung hero of fun in my team this year because it's a whole new way to play for the first time they're giving us a chance to play my team collaboratively rather than competitively all the time so i like this if you get really good rewards from this this can be something you and your friends you don't feel like sweating in unlimited and you're just like yo yo you want to play some triple threat and let's just earn some yeah let's go you know that's much less stressful as an idea all right let's keep going if you're going solo, Triple Threat gets new rewards for new and experienced players each season. And Triple Threat Online returns to its classic roots in multiplayer action. Call in all weekend warriors. My Team Limited is a fun, online competitive mode with lineup requirements, requiring you to adapt and overcome each weekend with guaranteed rewards with every win. Clutch Time expands to both the multiplayer and single player experience. With a four point line, five minutes on the clock, and a 14 second shot clock, this high intensity and fast paced mode is like nothing else in NBA 2K. Unlimited returns. Take your best lineup and compete to increase your season's points and rise up the leaderboard. With even more rewards, prestiging, and competition, get ready to see how you rank against friends and the My Team community. New to 2K23's My Team, you can lock your control to a single player no matter if you are in domination, challenges, limited, or triple threat. Now pause. To be fair though, to be fair, I can imagine scenarios where player locking in, like, cause for people that play my career, you know the CPU is literally a god. He's, he's a fucking god. Whoever it is that has that control of the CPU. They can do things you can't do, recover quicker, contest from farther away, hit bad shots, like. So I can see a scenario where you're playing someone who's player locked and their CPU is just fucking insane. So I hope that doesn't become something that makes the player lock concept trash. And like, if you're player locked, I can still abuse you for only wanting to use one player. That's my one thought. Let's keep going, almost. Focus and compete how you want. Finally, contracts are gone. Play and use the cards in your collection how you want. There's more ways to play, earn, build and compete with your dream team in NBA 2K23, my team. And there we have what was the 2K23 My Team trailer. I respect it. It was good. It was informative. It had little parts of it that you had to pay attention to to catch like, you know, tidbits of info. And it gave, you know, it was a good teaser. All right. So now let's pull up the actual blog. So thankfully they did a good job of showing you the most important things in the video to where if you have a low attention span, you don't really have to go or don't like reading, which nigga, what is wrong with you? Just read. Uh, if you didn't feel like reading, you could probably get all the information in a 2 minute and 30 second video. However, for some details that I wanted to know personally, I went to the blog and a few things stood out to me. 
First, I want to know about the player locking. It says, co-op is the only mode in my team to allow for position lock gameplay. We are making this change available for all my team modes. When you say all, I'm assuming that means those that are multiplayer as well, like as in competitive. Uh, whether you are used to a specific position in micro or want to better manage a specific player's stamina on your way to completing an agenda requirement, which now that is another perspective too, when you have to just like, uh, you're trying to evo a card or something, and you're using that, you have to use that specific card, this is a big help, right? You can, you know, if grabbing rebounds and steals and shit like that, now you can, you know, really lock in on that player and get it done. So I like that. It's all about playing how you want to play. Remember, a massive change like this to a traditionally team-controlled mode is not something we are taking lightly, especially with a competitive community like my teams. We will be monitoring all modes to ensure my team is a balanced mode for all of our players. Them ending it like that doesn't... It's a little shaky, but you know, I'll take it. <laughs> so that's the first thing I went to look at. Second thing I went to look at. Uh, starter cards, which they did not talk about at all in the video, but because it's just it's just basic information. This year, apparently, the three starters are going to be John Morant, uh, you know, the evil ones. It's John Morant, Joel Embiid, and Jimmy Butler. And I would be shocked if John Morant was not the absolute dog of those three after the last season that he just had. If they're not tip riding the fuck out of this nigga right now, I'd, I'd be shocked, right? So. Uh, early in the year that even if you get it to a Ruby Joel Embiid is probably still all his stats will probably be like a 70 not that good Jimmy Butler, you know, he's gonna have zero type of jump shot, but probably some defense all around You're probably going to be best bet picking John Morant to start because you need a point guard He's probably gonna be OP blah blah, etc uh, Exhibitions if you have a deep collection in my team, how are you using the player cards that aren't in your lineup? In between challenges and limited requirements, why not send your player cards out on exhibition missions around the globe? Your players deserve a vacation, so send them to blah 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 blah. After their mission expires, your player will return with a special reward from their mission. Pray to God this is not a recovery 5 leg injury card, giving you a new passive way to improve your lineup and collection, which is what ultimately they're introducing this for so your cards that technically aren't doing anything are doing something for you i just hope they're not stingy and actually let the card give me something good instead of like oh he did something for you passively nigga i'm not going to use this injury card bro like it's a bronze uh, head one game like give me something that i'm gonna use right bring me back a shoe or something like a three-point shoe right something useful so, and they also make it seem like it's going to be a topical thing. Which players are you sending to the North Pole in December? I guarantee that will be a callback. Uh, trophy case, like I said, they're looking like they're going with that Panini route for you to earn more prestigious type of cards. They included a picture of Pink Diamond Derek Rose being the trophy reward for the Bulls, for an example. And that is really about, like, kind of it, because everything else... Oh, I lied, I lied, I lied again, I lied again. See, these niggas put the information on domination and draft all the way at the bottom of the page where you might just completely forget that they were even talking about. It's part of the end so much more section. All right, so let's talk about the cornerstone of my team, domination. For 23, domination will launch with five sets of 30. Jesus Christ. Hold on, what's the, what's the math on that? Hold on, I have my phone next to me. I, I can't do math that quick in my head. Hold on. That's five sets of 33 games, which equals 165 total games. Let's say each game lasts you 30, oh my god. Let's say each game lasts you 30 minutes and you don't lose one of them bitches. That is a 4,950 minutes divided by 60 minutes each. That's, did I just get the right number? Nah, 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 nah. Y'all do this math with me again. We're starting from the top. I'm, I'm, I'm not even editing this out. 33 games times five. 165 times 30 minutes saying you don't lose one of them that's 4950 minutes divided by 60 one more time is 82.5 hours assuming you don't lose one game uh, here's the thing man here's the here's the thing My gripe with my team is it's at the end of two spectrums. Either you are going to spend money or you are going to spend time. Pick one. They are both worth the same when you think about it. And this is the thing, nigga. I have a life. A lot of us nowadays that grew up on my team have lives. We have responsibilities. We can't just be 
in here playing for that many hours to earn a card or cards that are going to be outdated within the first two months maybe like what I, I mean at the very least I would respect this if domination cards were updated throughout the year to remain relevant add add badges when cards get more OP give them some more badges or add them an Evo level or something to make me get him better instead of looking back months later and realizing I spent the first whole week of this game slaving over domination mode for these cards that I'm buying 30k cards that are better than them now you know what I mean I know y'all can feel me on this man so that's my gripe let's uh, let me finish reading completing the 99 stars for each domination tier will get you great reward players making a 90 plus overall starting five. Oh, so the players that they advertised in the video are actually the rewards Amethyst Julius Randall, okay. Diamond Mitch Richmond, I fuck with. Diamond Mike Bibby, I fuck with. Diamond Bill Walton, random, but okay. Pink Diamond Havlicek, I'll take it. This is the largest group of Dom games to launch in my team mode, and along with all the rewards that come with Dom, there are two new changes coming to the mode. First, the errors feature in the Jordan Challenge will be enabled in Domination games. It's one thing to take on the 86 Celtics. It's another when your team faces them with the classic 1980s presentation and rules. And rules is very interesting. Oh, oh, so like illegal defense and the three second rule and shit like, oh, oh, okay, that's different. That's different. Might be annoying, but different. The other major change for Dom is how you earn stars. To dominate your opponent and earn those stars, you will now to need to defeat your opponent by a set amount of points. Thank you, fuck, bro. No more calculating my team point earnings from dunks and post moves. <laughs> I feel like that's a shot because I've made multiple videos on how to do that. It's now all about getting the win in the most decisive way possible. Respect. This could be good or bad or mid, but I just, I'm hoping for good. All right, let's just go with that. Other than that, though, um, I don't think there's that much useful information on the challenges or limited. Draft, though, it does says you can adjust your lineup. Uh... After you draft your lineup, you will not be able to edit your starting lineup to adjust to your playing style rather than being forced into the best fit for your drafted coaches system. Yeah. Adjust your lineup and how you please before entering the game and between games, etc. Each draft kit comes an exclusive ascension board that includes the weekly takeover reward player. Oh, takeover, he's from the ascension board. Okay. As the grand prize at the top of the tower, and the rewards are available quicker with ascension picks awarded after each win in draft. Ah, rather than waiting until the end to run to make your okay. So, a lot of user-friendly things which I, I can appreciate because ultimately, y'all, the one thought that I really had on my team is that they don't be wanting to see me win. They want to see me waste my time or spend my money, like I said. I would feel much more, here's the thing, about Mutt, for example, let me relate it to this, right? I would not think as hard about buying points to spend on Madden packs because Madden gives you so many opportunities to build your team without spending money and give you good shit for your team. Like you feel like you got good stuff for the time you spent playing. And that's why I don't feel bad about spending money on Madden compared to 2K where I hate every dollar that I give these niggas because they haven't earned it. All they want to do is see me lose. Like the, the combination of never getting anything from packs having to spend hundreds of hours to earn a decent card, you know, like all of that stuff combined, I feel like the mode aims to see me fail rather than see me win. And if my team was more set up like this with the stuff like draft, right? Like giving you chances to get more cards easier, like try to help me win, see me win. And I won't care when I got to spend money when you drop your new packs, bro. In fact, I would feel less bad about it and be like, fine, take my money. But that's my, that's, that's, let me know if y'all can feel that too, right? If you want to see me win, help, help me, nigga, help me win. And I won't care about giving you my money. So I hope if my team kind of takes that transition this year, that's absolutely an amazing step in the right direction. So let's see what happens. So you guys let me know. My original question for this is really, are y'all going to play 2K23 my team or at this point in your life, are you are you over it? Most people say that shit till the game drops and they see everybody playing it and then they go buy it and play it even if it's just for a week or two. But we all know how it goes at this point. We're all clowns online waiting to spend our money. I'm doing it again. I, I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yes, I am. All right, so y'all let me know. I'm not going to say, are you excited? But like, is this the my team? Is this the one? Like, is this the one that's finally going to 
warm us back up to the mode? Are you excited for anything particular? Let me know in the comment section below. And for those who have not seen a video from me in a while, if you want to know what's been going on with me, go ahead and check out the other video that I should be uploading tonight. Or t it's going, it's coming with this one, right? Um, they're gonna be a dual thing. So, shout out to y'all if you still here, fuck with my videos, follow me, uh, hit that thumbs up button, and you just care about what's going on with me. I love y'all, bro. It's, it's amazing that I can just never upload and then come back and then there's still people like, I'm so glad to see you. So thank you so much, y'all. Have a good rest of your day. Uh, peace.